So for bandaging the toes, you'd like to start below. So you make one turn here. And notice how I hold uh, the bandage. So the roll is on top and it's very close to the skin. So you don't want to do it this way. So you want to do it close to the skin so that you have better control. And then you do your second roll. So we're going closer to the base of the toes. And your third roll will start bandaging the big toe. So you want to bandage uh, each toe individually. And then you have to start below, right below the nail bed. So essentially the nail bed will be free so that you can check for any circulatory system problems. The second turn, you can see roughly it's overlapped by 50%. And always get the base of the toes. So don't skip this part. So you have a good coverage, about 50%. And then go down. And then you go back up. And then we do the same thing with the second digit. We start below the nail bed. And then we do 50% overlap again. So you have good overlap here. And again you go down. And then back up. You do the same process. Start below the nail bed. Make it 50% overlap. There you go. And always bandage up to the very edge of the toe. Mm -hmm. Go down and then go up. Then we repeat it for the fourth digit. This one, I think, since it's shorter, will only take about two rolls. Then we go down. And then we go back up. So for uh, bandaging of the digits of the toes, generally we leave the last digit free. So no need to bandage unless there is obvious involvement. So you still have a lot of material. So you can just go ahead and spread it around the base of the foot and just lock it.